Agent Dark, mission log 1846 hours. Last night, we got a call from Cassandra de Vries. A data dying team have taken Daniel Carrington hostage at his private villa on the coast. And they say they will spare his life in exchange for the AI. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Daniel and Dr. Carroll were at the villa to discuss matters of mutual interest. It looks like Daniel found a way to hide Dr. Carroll inside the villa when the data dying hit squad arrived. Hopefully, our phony negotiator ploy will give me a chance to surprise the Data Dine squad. This time, it's not just my life on the line. Data Dine thugs made me tell them where I'd hidden Dr. Carl. Only I'd held out for a few minutes more. It's not your fault, sir. I should have been quicker. Don't blame yourself, Joanna. Dr. Carl told me that he expected this to happen. Actually, when they recaptured him, the Data Dine team got overconfident and let slip a few facts when they thought I was unconscious. They mentioned a meeting in the G5 building in Chicago, Illinois tonight. I want you to be there. That doesn't leave you a lot of time to get ready. That won't be a problem, sir. So, did Dr. Carroll have any useful information for you? Oh, yes, indeed. He certainly did. And I'll brief you when you're on your route to Chicago. We might still be able to help him, even after those butchers remove his personality. 
He thinks they'll keep a copy of it in a safe place. About time I called in some friends to deal with Datadyne. We've recovered the sapient from Carrington and altered its programming. It no longer has a personality, so there will be no further incidents. This will reduce its efficiency. My team will have to take it to the core themselves. This will endanger them. You should have anticipated that the sapient might develop a troublesome moral code. No one could have predicted that, and I resent being singled out for blame. What about him? The President turned down your request for the loan of the Pelagic too. Could it be you overestimated your influence over him? 
No. Perhaps I underestimated his resolve. We have a contingency plan ready to go, and we will move as soon as the presidential honorage arrives at the airbase. All I need from the president is a tissue sample. <laughs> Assuming you don't get any interference. If Carrington has pieced together enough of this, he will have called for reinforcements. There will be no outside help from Mr. Carrington. The technology you gave us is installed in Nevada and fully operational. We can intercept any craft they use. Then the devices we gave you are working correctly. Good, because we believe anything which does not work correctly should be destroyed. Consider that as you follow your backup plans. Why? Me. The safe's heavily encrypted. The decoder's gonna take a little longer. Intruder alert! All security to the vault! Dark reporting in. The pod received a download of a meeting data. Priority request from Easter Peak support team to protect the president before he goes to Alaska. No time for that now, Agent Dark. There's been a development during radio silence. The craft carrying those flins I was talking about was shot down over Nevada. The weapon responsible was fired from Area 51. That's where the survivors and debris will have been taken. You're to prep for immediate dispatch when you return here. Carrington out. Area 51? But what about the president? Oh.